Today I've got the privilege of sitting with the guy you could call the FBI captain of the mail order bride scam industry. Uh, welcome, Dima. Yeah, hello, Joe. Uh, Dima, you've been running one of the largest databases of known scammer in the USS and former USSR countries for uh, 20 years now, right? Yes, correct. So let me ask you, you've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of this industry. You know uh, how it works from the inside out. Um, well, I guess, wh what would you say uh, is the secret sauce, uh, the secret formula to any man's success if he's serious about wanting to come here and marry a beautiful Ukrainian wife well, in the real world? Uh -huh. So it, it may be a secret for men, for men who are just starting to be interested in the national dating because there are like thousands of websites and all of them are promising you like... Uh, very beautiful girls but uh, uh, the secret is very simple uh, you have to avoid local agents and local ag agencies girls who are listed on hundreds and thousands of uh, websites and international uh, marriage agencies so that's why uh, we offer uh, dating with uh, ladies who are not listed on any international dating sites or marriage agencies. Boom! Did you catch that, guys? We just did uh, a video, Dima and I, called uh, Why Do Good Girls Not Come Into International Marriage Agencies? And to see that video, click on the uh, video link in the description below this video. Uh, but that's true, right? Good girls don't come into marriage agencies for the most part. Yes, absolutely true, because uh, local agencies, they have very bad reputation. Yeah, they have a bad reputation, and a good girl doesn't believe she's going to meet a good man and get married. Just sex to her, so that's what they believe. Yes. So, uh, so we have found a way to find good girls that are not registered in marriage agencies. That's our secret sauce, right? Uh, yes. Well, it's uh, it's more expensive uh, to find uh, girls, uh, real girls. Uh, it's much easier than let just uh, find girls who will be who need a side job to meet men. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Side, a side job to get um, yeah. get paid, yeah. get gifts, get. A uh, percentage of translator fees, uh -huh. stuff like this. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, correct. And, and so, um, yeah, it's not easy to find the good girls, but that's uh, what every man wants, right? Uh, yes, it's not easy. That's why we, we don't have like 10,000 profiles of them. Uh, we have several hundreds, but uh, that's enough. Uh, that's enough for, for, for the number of uh, serious and motivated men we have. I mean, uh, the grand ball was just two days ago, and we had, what, 75 beautiful ladies yes. and 19 men, yes, right? correct. Uh, and um, let's talk about this. Like, guys, this was amazing. I mean, uh, almost all the guys had connections with girls and got their phone numbers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Everybody, like, they were, they've, uh, they've, uh, they never saw such things before. So they came like three, four times each one. Thank you very much for organizing it. I love it. So yes, uh, everybody, very happy, very happy. Uh, keep your eyes peeled, guys. We're going to do a video on the Grand Ball summary uh, that we just had in the summer here. And uh, you can hear what the ladies and gents had to say about it. So, Dima, let me ask you, how many men uh, are successful after the Grand Ball? Uh, this is the sixth one we've had, right? Yes. And what are the statistics of success being men that... Um, are in a relationship and then a longer term committed relationship. We're not sure if it ends up in marriage, but at least committed relationship. Uh, committed relationships for lo less uh, for over uh, four months, it's 75 percent. So there you go, guys. Um, that's the main part we wanted to say to you in this video is that uh, you know uh, you can come to the Grand Ball event and meet sincere non-agency girls right yes uh, and if you're not going to come to our event uh, be careful about socials out there um, what uh, what few kind of uh, FBI tips would you have you know about anti-scam if you're gonna go to socials like why why the industry socials don't work oh because uh, it's girls from local dating agencies who are invited so it doesn't matter if it's a social or if it's a personalized meeting so uh, yeah same same local agency girls so there is no there is no difference
let me ask you are the youngest most beautiful girls generally paid to go to socials in in, in this industry generally speaking Oh well, uh, I don't know because I I, I didn't I didn't see. Well, I, I suppose I suppose that uh, yes, uh, because uh, 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 this is logic. Because uh, beautiful uh, young girl, she she won't be interested to meet a uh, man who are like 30, 40 uh, year years older than them, which is which is the case for uh, the most of socials that o are organized and uh, uh, as for us uh, we do um well, we make a personalized search for uh, each client if a man he has like he's 50 so and he's looking for a lady for about 40 so uh, we make sure that we have uh, uh, enough ladies of uh, the age uh, that correspond to his search criteria so everything is realistic uh, as for as for the uh, socials uh, with the agency girls just uh, uh, they they invite <laughs> every everyone and uh, they meet like yeah but men 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 who are coming are really like after 60 most of them are after 16 plus yeah, I mean it's a cattle herd, isn't it? I mean they herd as many beautiful young girls as they can, and they herd as many old guys as they can to meet the young hotties. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not the formula for any man's success. A uh, guy has to be realistic. Uh, yes, but uh, we have uh, on Saturday we had a man. He was 67, and he met a lady. She was uh, uh, 52 or 53, uh, and uh, they were absolutely they were like uh, ladies like 30 year of th like 30 35 yeah but he was interested by he, he had a realistic search criteria and he succeeded yeah yeah well and that's a thing uh, when you're meeting good girls you don't have to worry about you know what is her hidden uh, agenda does she have surreptitious motives I mean these are not agency girls that's the the whole point we want to drive home to you guys is that uh, this whole industry it's unfortunately rigged just to make money not <laughs> set up for your success so uh, we have a formula that stacks the deck for your success and uh, the big part is it's non-agency girls so they don't have for the most part hidden agenda and um, and then we don't have too big of an age gap or we certainly try to uh, keep that as narrow as possible yeah. well as realistic as possible and well if uh, if you ask me What's well, the maximum age difference? I would say uh, I recommend you not to go over 15 years of a of difference. Yeah, because that's where most of the marriages uh, happen with yeah. less than a 15 year age gap. Yeah, yeah. correct. Thanks, Dima. Ah, you're welcome. Good luck, guys, on your journey looking for love in Ukraine.